Hey, I'm CMT's Paul McGuire, and this is Neighborhood Eats. We're in my hood, Leslieville, home of some of the best food in Toronto. I'm gonna take you to a few of my favorite spots, so let's get eating. This is Prohibition Gastro House, one of the most popular places to feed and water yourself in Leslieville. Ribs, fried chicken, biscuits, whatever you're into, they've got it for you inside. Let's go in. How you doing, Mike? Excellent, how are you, Paul? Hey, thanks for having us in today. This is my awesome. Pleasure. It's so cool that one of my buddies owns one of the most popular places in Leslieville. Just a little bit about the neighborhood, uh, Leslieville, and uh, how long you've been here. We came here because we knew the area was up and coming. So yeah. we've been here about a decade. The area has just really blossomed into something pretty great. So. What's your take on food? We take traditional comfort food items and we elevate them. Uh, as I work at CMT, I think I'm allowed to say this, uh, the one that stood out for me was the redneck platter. That's a great choice. So that's that's a culmination of a number of our dishes. It's our ribs, which is sous vide for 12 hours. What does sous vide mean? They take the protein, they put it in a plastic bag and they put the marinade in there and they vacuum seal it. So it's cooked in a water bath at very low temperature for 12 hours. It's smoked for four hours. Then we, we brush it and finish it in the oven. We have our fried chicken thighs, so we marinate those in bulk and yogurt, bread them and finish them in duck fat. And then we have our, our truffled mac and cheese and our house-baked biscuits and some slaw. This is a very definitely elevated redneck food. There's a lot of meat on there. Yeah, that's incredible. The meat is incredibly soft. There's very little chewing required. It's sweet and smoky, yeah. kind of all at the same time. It tastes like barbecue should taste. Can I use my hands for yes, the fried of course, chicken? Please do. All right. This is usually not the most embarrassing thing I've ever done on camera. So. Have anything on my face? I don't care. Again, it's got something in common with its platter partner here, and that it's incredibly soft. That is delicious. You know, the funny thing about the show is that you have to eat and then talk to people. Man, I was raised. Don't speak with your mouth full. It doesn't work on this show. Oh, well, hopefully your kids don't watch. <laughs> This is Lil Bocce, a perfect neighborhood pizza joint. But that's not really fair because everything they make is delicious. They're kind of known for their meatballs, which are called, of course, bocce balls. My family and I spend a lot of time in here. It's a bit of a home away from home. Come on in. Brandon, good to see you, man. What does Lil Bocce mean? Little kiss. A little kiss. It's that, right? Perfect. I love Lil Bocce's pizza. It's my favorite pizza in the city. A very nice, thin pizza. It's still like got some structure to it. Yeah, you keep the crunch, you don't want to cut that. What is actually in the dough that makes it so good? You guys have kind of a unique dough. You have the blend of the double O and yeah. the hard flours. All your sauces are stretched out, get spread out nice and evenly. My favorite is the Napoli. Olives. Olives. Capers. Capers. It's got the anchovies. So what's pizza without cheese? So I will take a Napoli with cheese. You have a dish on your menu that may cause people to snicker from time to time, but bocce balls. Yeah. And what are bocce balls? It's kind of our take on meatballs. Traditionally, it's just like the beef and pork, but we thought we'd have a little fun with it. Yep. So we've added a few others. So we have our turducken, which is a blend of turkey, duck, and chicken. <laughs> we have our lamb and spicy pork. There we go, Brandon. There is the pizza. All, right. All of the bocce balls, the spicy pork. We've got some caramelized onions in there, romesco sauce on top. It's fantastic. I took a really big piece there, so lamb. We have some arista pesto. That sauce is spectacular. Turducken. For our sauce, we have a bit of brown butter, some honey and oyster mushroom. That's fantastic. Classic beef and pork. The original. My, the other ones are great. The original is my favorite. I, I consider this a work of art, by the way. Okay. My favorite pizza in the city. The Paul McGuire Napoli. Yeah. There are not too many pizzas that I can order that I can eat the whole thing of myself. Yeah. I can do that with this. Because anchovies are super salty. The olives are pretty salty, but everything else kind of neutralizes that so it's not too salty, especially with the addition of the cheese. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. So here at Idris in the heart of Leslieville, you can always count on three things, freshness, flavor, and smiles from Idris herself. It is my go-to place for to-go food. Come on in. Her food is often in my belly, it's Idri. Hi, nice, nice to see you. You too. This is so exciting. I'm so happy to be able to bring people here to Idri's. It's one of my favorite places in Leslieville. Oh, that's awesome. It did all start with the hot sauce. That right there is my favorite hot sauce on the planet Earth. This one has mango yeah, in it. So this is for people who aren't quite as tough as me, right? 
Probably, yeah, probably. Okay. The green one is a little bit easier because it has a uh, scotch bonnet, habanero, serrano, and jalapeno. And serrano right. is really cool. It's not as hot, but it has more flavors. Right. What makes your hot sauces so unique? Clean ingredients, no fluff, there's no additive, there's no mustard. A lot of the hot sauce has mustards. There's no yeah. preservatives. And so that's why it separates and you got to shake it up because yeah. there's no preservatives. Because it's real. Real, right. Everybody always asks me uh, why I look so young. It's because of Idris' hot sauce. <laughs> Clean lemon. <laughs> Clean right there. lemon, I love okay, it. So I have to go home with some food. And I'd like you to, if you could, if you could hook me up with our favorite dish, the roti. So the roti is like a, a pita. And it's a stew, basically. So it's a curry chicken stew. And a curry uh, veg stew, wrap it up for you with a side salad. Idri, thank you. Pleasure. Uh, this is my favorite place in the world. Thank you. Thank okay. you. See ya. Enjoy. I may not be bringing home the bacon, but I am bringing home the roti. Um, this has been fun. Glad you joined me. Thanks to everybody at Prohibition, Lil Bachi, and Idri. Love me some Idri. Head over to foodnetwork.ca for more Neighborhood Eats. Um, I'm heading home.